A student accused of randomly attacking other students with a blood lancet. It happened today at Faustin High School and tonight the incident is raising concern with affected students being told to go and get checked out. WJC's live George Solis with the frightening incident. George. Yeah, good evening, Vic. We now know there's at least 17 new students in need of medical attention following this incident at the high school. Now, for those that don't know, a blood lancet is a device generally used in diabetic testing. I was bleeding a little bit, not a lot. Falston High School student Jonathan Schiller showing WJZ the barely visible prick on his hand that unfortunately has already left an emotional mark on him and his family. I'm worried to say the least. Very scared, scared for him, scared for the others. The Hartford County Sheriff's Office saying Schiller is one of at least 17 students that was randomly struck by a fellow 15 year old classmate at school with this, a device called a blood lancet. Most often used by diabetics to draw a small blood sample for testing. In it, a sharp adjustable pin-like knife or needle that is designed to pierce skin. Now criminal charges could be filed as this investigation unfolds. Well, at this point, this is uh, fairly new for us to experience. Uh, at the very least, an assault or one or more assaults. Students tell WJZ their 15 year old classmate claimed the device belonged to a diabetic family member, specifically his grandfather. One student telling WJZ school officials are taking the matter very seriously. An administration was called after school for a meeting. As far as the reason, we believe at this point he thought it was humorous. But for Schiller and his family, it's far from a laughing matter. He really just kind of laughed and like I don't think he really understood that the, what he was doing at the time. Yeah, Vic and Schiller tells WJZ his fellow classmates didn't feel comfortable with him staying for after school wrestling practice tonight until he's tested and clear. The school says they have taken disciplinary action against the student. We're live tonight. George Soltless, WJZ Eyewitness News. George, thank you. The Hartford County Sheriff's Office tells WJZ the criminal case will be handed over to the state's attorney's office.